Hello and welcome. Today I am going to teach you how to overclock your 800ADM graphics card. And with no more further ado, let's get started. First, you'll want to download MSI Afterburner, a program that I'm sure everyone is already familiar with. The next thing while you're at it, you'll click on this cog and check unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring. Then you'll go where your MSI Afterburner is installed, my case C, Broken Files, MSI Afterburner. Uh, where is it? Over here. Then you go Profiles, go on VAN 10D, E and DAO. You click Properties, Security, Edit, Check Users, Full Control Allow, OK. And then you're gonna paste in the text you'll be given in description. Then you can close MS Afterburner. Next thing you wanna do is go on voltground.com and here you'll be downloading the next necessary files and programs. First you'll go via BIOS mods and download the via BIOS. You'll go down to look for G750JZ and you'll click on V1 download. Then you go on flashing section, you go flashing GPUs, you click here and you download GPU Z and NV Flash. Now you put NV Flash in a folder together with the BIOS you downloaded. In my case that is C NV Flash. Here is my folder with the overclock ROM and original ROM. I just renamed it. Now the original ROM is the one you're currently using. So that's why you have GPU Z, which you'll want to open now. You will click on this little arrow, click save to a file. And basically save it in the same folder. This will be your original or backup ROM. Now that you're done with that, you can close GPU Z and go on start, type in CMD, right click, run as administrator. Now type in CD space the location of where your NV Flash folder is located. In my case, that is C NV Flash. Then you type NV Flash 56 and OC.ROM in my case, click enter. You'll see this text and the question update dice. <laughs> My apologies, update display adapter firmware. Press Y to confirm. You press Y, you will hear a beep for a second, and then it will start to proceed with the installation. And then it will say update successful if that is not so you may have bricked your GPU or you simply was as it said unsuccessful now in case you bricked it there is a video on how to fix that but if it failed you can just try again and then you'll want to restart your PC all right now that you're back from your PC restart you'll open up your MS afterburner and you'll see that you got power limit now, which you didn't have before. Which means your GPU is able to extract extra power when it's going to need it. And trust me, it's going to need it. First of all, what you want to do is put the core voltage to 100. The memory 150, I mean the core clock to 150 and the memory clock to 5. 150. After that, you click OK, and just like that, your GPU is now overclocked. In average, you'll be getting about 10 frames more, but in some scenarios, even more. I got the highest was 15, so pretty great improve improvement. And uh, there is also one thing that I should mention, which is in case your GPU gets 89 degrees Celsius. It will automatically lower your clock and so you won't be able to have your overclock anymore 
but there will still be a slight improvement since your memory clock will stay the same. That happens because that's how your GPU protects itself from being overheated. Now, if you want to get rid of that problem, there is a solution which is using a notepad fan control notebook. I don't know how it's called, it's something like note. Yeah, it's notebook fan control, and you download the profile that's available on the side we downloaded the bias before and you simply put your fan speed to 100% and that would be it for me if you have any questions feel free to comment and as always Jock signing off <laughs>